Hey Virgo, if you're wondering what you need to pay attention to in your career relationship in March 2019, you have come to the right place because we're going to talk about what's holding you back and what can set you free. Hey Serena. All right, while I get these cards in order, welcome. My name is Seth. I run coming on tarot.com. You can always find out more about me over there. But while we're here, we're talking about your career relationship. Hey, how are you? And since this will be over on YouTube, if you're on YouTube and you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe so we can keep track of each other and hit that thumbs up button whenever you feel like this content is useful, especially if you're watching this on the replay. So not only does it let me know it's useful, it gets in front of other people. Speaking of, don't forget to share out with your friends so they can take advantage of this message as well. Oh, there we go. This is in the right place already. You had to be here with a Virgo. All right. <laughs> Here we go, Virgo. What's holding you back? What's going to set you free? Ooh, Virgo, this is life lesson time. Life lesson time. Hey, Wrigley. All right, what's what's holding you back? This is the fool. What is going to set you free? Wheel of Fortune. I am <laughs> I'm kind of in awe of this. Hey, Wrigley, I'm kind of in awe of this one. This one's going to be... It's going to be a hell of a month, Virgo. All right, here's what you need to know. First off, <laughs> no problem being late. Are you are you a Virgo Wrigley? Uh, first off, you're fanning the flames of what's possible, Virgo, where some of these other signs are either sitting in their own sauce or they're uh, kind of putting out their own fire. Oh, then you missed Aries. You have to go back and check it out. Putting out their own fire here. Aries, you're fan in your own flame. So um, this is good. You're headed in the right direction. You're not like stuck in one spot. You're not trying to go backwards. You don't have to go back. You're moving forward. And for all the Virgos out there, I'm sure you're like, well, yeah, we're Virgos. That's what we do because you know we know what we need to be doing and we go do the thing. Um, insert eye roll. So for all of the, I think Virgo should just have insert eye roll like next to it all the time. Anyway, I've got a lot of Virgos in my life who are wonderful, wonderful people, and I appreciate them a lot. I completely understand them. Um, all right, so what's holding you back, Virgo? The fool, uh, the obliviousness of... The pure joy of being where you are is, is not allowing you to see where you're headed. And that isn't a fault for most people. Virgo usually got like step two, three, four, and five ready and planned out. And you know where you need to go and the way things need to happen. Uh, in this instance, though, you're so like in the moment, so like blissfully unaware that that step two, three, four, and five, they're just not there. And what's gonna happen is life's gonna say, hey, step 10 is here. Are you ready? Because we're going, we're, it's happening. It's happening right now. Things are about to change and shift and we're gonna do like a big fast forward. It's kind of like when you, instead of hitting fast forward on your remote, if you hit that leap forward or you double tap the forward and next thing you know, you're at like speed four and you run right through part of the episode and then you have to play it back again. You have to like rewind a little bit. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's that kind of leap. And it's not bad. It's just like you're, you're missing all the in-between and that throws, it kind of discombobulates Virgos. So the blissfulness has been nice. Get your head back in the game. So what is going to set you free in this space is being ready with the wheel. Letting the wheel, t let Jesus take the wheel. Welcome back, Wrigley. Let it happen. Let what's coming come. Um, but you can be a little more prepared than you are right now. Though I still, I would still advise you, um, let what's come and come. Because it's all part of the right path. It's all part of being in the right place. It's all part of doing the right thing at the right time. Um, when it's, it's just interesting that it's such a leap forward. Um, without more detail in here, I don't know why the leap forward is happening, but the leap forward is happening. I would also uh, encourage you to think about... No problem. I would also encourage you to think about uh, how... 
let me talk about thorns for a minute on a rose bush. You know how a thorn is, uh, it hurts when you go to pick the rose, and it's but it's defending itself? So the thorn is actually a great thing for the rose, but it's not all that awesome for the person who's trying to pick the bud. Uh, it's a it's it's a blessing and a curse kind of thing. That's what this what's coming up. This shift to this turn is it's a blessing and a curse because you're gonna have to say goodbye to something, probably that naivete, but uh, it's gonna push you forward in the next stage of what your relationship is meant to be. So those of you who are in one with your horse, husband, boyfriend, partner, whatever, uh, you're you're gonna be pushed into the next stage of the relationship. One that it's either going to cause a lot of arguments or a lot of sex, or maybe both. And then the <laughs> um, the other side of that is that you're just kind of not ready, so you're taken off guard. It's a little uncomfortable, but it's time. It's time. It's just uncomfortable. All right. Good. Virgo, I hope this is helpful. If it is... Don't forget to subscribe so we can keep track of each other and do share out your with your friends so that everybody can take advantage of this message, especially if you're watching this over on YouTube later. Um, by the way, if you haven't already and you're an avid podcast person, check out Life Uncloseted with Rick Clemens. Not only is it a great podcast about coming out, I got to do a great episode on there so you can go find me. Uh, also, I've got a, an episode coming up with the Tarot Lady on her podcast, Tarot Bites, where we talk about tarot patterns. And I'm going to be on um, Cardi B's podcast, The Badass Bitches Tarot, where we talk a little bit about uh, just how I got started and my favorite and least favorite tarot cards and a few other things. So it's kind of a fun get to know you session. And I've got a few other ones coming up. So if you haven't been over to comingouttarot.com, then head on over there where you can find out more about podcast adventures by clicking on the podcast link uh, up in the menu at the top of the page. And if you're interested in getting readings with me, you can also find out more about that over at comingouttarot.com slash shop. Serena, I hope this is helpful for you, and I will see you all later. Come back in a little bit and do our next one.